Hello YouTube, today for this video I thought I'd review this. It's the Boston Acoustics MC200 Air um, Airplay speaker, uh, specially designed for Apple devices. Um, I'll just mention a big shout out to Basil Knight Electronics Limited in Balmoney in Northern Ireland for letting me review this. So if you're looking to get one, um, definitely give them a shout and give them a contact. Everything, Facebook page, website and everything is on the links down below. So big shout out to them and uh, thanks very much. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a quick look around this box and then we'll do a quick unboxing. Um, on the front end it just says it's from um, Boston Acoustics, it's the MC200 Air wireless speaker system for airplay. Um, not really very much on it, just shows you it. It also comes in um, white as well as what you can see on the top. This is actually the black one that I have. But on the side then, say there's not the speaker, um, just showing there's different instructions um, and then on the back end just roughly what it can do. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll open this up and then we'll see what's inside it. So inside it then, <coughs> at the top you just got some literature basically. Um, tells you obviously how to set it up. Later on in the video I'll go through a step by step guide on how to set this up. Um, anyway, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, now you've also then got your remote as well. Um, it seems your volume buttons, mute. Um, stop and play and um, whatever else. Um, then up in here then that's your main um, battery pack. It's your big brick thing. Uh, just standard then plug and goes into the side of it. So I'll also set it up later on to let you see it. And then this is a standard then three pin socket for the UK. And uh, plug then just into your battery pack. Uh, your power pack sorry and then that's and that's that. And then this one up in here um, is for the US and Canada um, seems to come with it as well so it's always quite handy if you are going abroad then to, to take that with you as well and inside the box then um, it's just a bit of cardboard basically it's just to protect it there's that same thing then at, at the bottom as well and then this here is your main speaker so we'll go ahead and lift this out and we'll see this as you can see it comes basically wrapped um, in plastic again just another protector it's always good um, it always says whenever it's, whenever it's being shipped. So that's the unboxing. Um, we'll go ahead. Um, we'll set this up and we'll see how it works. And then we'll show you um, how to set it up and whatever else. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a quick overview of the Boston Acoustic MC 200 Air Airplay speaker. So on the front end, basically, this is your full length speaker, um, and then. On the top then, you have got your power button, um, a mute, an air button, your AUX, and then that's your two volume buttons then, up and down. Um, system side on then, as you can see, there's not really very much to it. It's quite a very refined device. Um, on the back then, you've got um, your aerial, which then extends your um, your range. We'll go over that later on in the video. Um, just start with aerial. Um, these two things here then, or if you want to. Mind it up onto your wall, for instance. Um, along the bottom, then, and here in the wee slot, you've got um, your power um, inlet, um, an Ethernet port, a USB port, and uh, a setup button, which we'll go over later on in the video. Um, on this side, then, you've got your 3.5mm um, jack um, for headphones and an AUX in port as well, if you wish to plug anything into it. Um, so we'll set this up and we'll see how it's working um, we'll go over all the features uh, fully whenever it's set up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is plug in your Wii adapter into your power. The next thing then you want to do is press this button, this one here, uh, to turn the system on. And as you can see, it will start blinking up. Your next step then, if you're setting up for the first time, is to press the setup button. If you press it for about five to six seconds, and you'll um, see the air link up here starting to blink. So just go ahead and press it now, and then we'll let you see it blinking. As you can see, that's now changed color and it's starting to starting to blink. This means now that the device is starting to search um, for an Apple device. So we'll jump on the iPad and we'll see how to set it up from there. 
Okay then, whenever you're on your iPad or an Apple device, if you go into your settings and go into your Wi-Fi, um, as you can see, it will start to pick it up. And as you can see from here, it's picked up the MC200 Air setup. So if you simply just press that, as you can see, it will now start to connect to it. And as you can see at the top, you've now also lost your Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is open up Safari um, or any browser that you're using. Then what you want to do is surf to 192.168.1.12 and you'll be greeted with this page. Simply then click on the profile configuration on the left hand side and let it load. You will then upgrade it with this page. So what you're looking for is this service set ID, SSID. So if you press that and select your option and then select your um, own Wi-Fi. Um, and then it'll ask you then for what they call the pass phrase, which is basically your web key, which is the number that you use um, to connect all devices um, to your um, wireless router. So um, you just press that and then enter in your code, which I'll do now. Then once you have that done, then simply press apply. Um, you'll get a wee warning coming up, um, it just says incorrect parameters may cause undesired behaviour. To save the new settings, click OK. That's simply fine, you just simply press OK um, on the iPad. Then it'll start working in the top, as you can see, it'll start to load. So as you can see, whenever it's connected, um, your air will go with solid green, and so will your power um, and your two volume buttons will um, turn to white. That's you, basically, ready to set up, ready to go. Another way to set this speaker up as well is you can press and hold your setup button um, until all your lights blink at the top. Then if your router supports um, WPS, you can simply go to that, um, press the WPS button and the two of them should instantly talk to each other. Uh, and that's another way of setting it up as well. You can also as well, if you so want, um, just connect any Apple device up um, using its lead. Just simply plug this lead um, into the end um, before you charge it. Um, and then your USB then um, just goes in um, beside the Ethernet port down here as well. Um, just plug that in. Then, so whenever you do, then just make sure then um, at the top that you select AUX. Um, it will change then change the light over. And then once that's done, then that's you ready to then play through the light. And if you want to play it wirelessly through your internet again, then you just simply press air, and then that'll be you put back over again. Another option you have as well is using an Ethernet cable. Simply plug it in to the speaker, then plug into your router. And then that should be you basically set up and ready to go. Everything's in the manual, so if there's any other problems, just follow the manual through. But the only thing is, the downside to using an Ethernet cable is you're basically tied to wherever your router sits. This has to sit with it basically, unless you have a really, really long Ethernet cable. But my advice is most routers um, is capable of sending um, sound pretty quickly these days anyway, so there are not going to be any bothers with it. But that option is always there if you need it. So I'll just play a song to let you see what it's like. Um, I will like to point out that this is um, a royalty free song and the link to this song will be in the description down below. Um, there's no copyright to it. But if you do go on to play um, anything on YouTube, the reason I'm playing through YouTube is because I've actually no music on this iPad as it's only really used for surfing the web. Um, so if you do go on um, to YouTube, you will see um, this here like a wee TV with an arrow through it. If you simply press that, um, then it'll tell you then what you want to play air, airplay through your iPad or your MC200 there. If you just press that there, then that'll put you then through the speaker. So we'll go ahead and play this and we'll let you see what it sounds like. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let you see what this sounds like. This is actually set um, to half volume, so um, just to see. We don't want to turn it up too loud, but we'll just let you see what it's like. It does take a wee slight second um, to go everything for it to go through, but we'll start playing as you can hear now. Just fast forward a wee bit to let you hear it a bit more. So just turn this up volume a wee bit just to let you hear to see what it's like. As I did say, that is only roughly at half volume. 
it can go a got me in even higher. I did put a decibel meter to this yesterday and at about half it was sitting about 80 decibels which is breathing good. The only downside I will say, listen, there's not very many to it, is the bass. The bass um, is kind of very, very bassy. Alright, if you're into that sort of stuff then that's absolutely perfect. The only thing I would have liked Boston Acoustics to add to this here would be like an equaliser basically up somewhere up here where you can, if you so wanted to, adjust the bass, turn it down a wee bit, um, especially if you're playing music very, very high, because the higher it gets, the more bassy it gets. Other than that, it's an absolute perfect speaker, and I really, really can't go wrong with it. So I thought it would be a very good idea to do a very quick FAQ on this, because I'm sure a lot of people will have a few questions. So I'll throw some up, and I'll answer them. The range on this basically depends on what your Wi-Fi range is. Um, if you're inside your Wi-Fi with likes of your Apple device, then both things are going to talk to each other. So whatever range you have through your Wi-Fi in the house, then this is going to play. So if your Wi-Fi can go out into the back garden, then by all means then you can have your speaker your speaker outside and your iPad in the inside or vice versa, depending on whatever way you want it. It's not really designed for Android or Windows, um, it is more geared for the Apple market, but you can, if you so want, um, play it over Android. Um, there is an app, um, that might be on the other stores as well, on the likes of um, Windows as well, called Stream Bells. Um, we'll have the full link um, and everything down below, you can download that there. But basically, whenever you do go on it, um, you just you put it with a screen that looks like this here. You simply just press um, your phone speaker, um, it'll throw up then, your um your speaker you just press this middle one then again with like I showed you earlier on with the wee TV with the arrow um and you press that there and then you can go in then um and select your music um now the only thing I didn't find with this here is YouTube um wouldn't play my music um obviously because I don't have any copyright free music on this here I can't play any but um just basically click on your music press that there then a couple of seconds you know start playing so even though it is geared more for the apple market um you can play it through android um and probably windows as well if they have um, the same app basically anything that supports airplay and dlna it can stream um on the side of the box, um, it does say that your um, it's virtually limitless all your content from the Boston MC two hundred Air. There are countless streaming radio apps that you choose from your favorite song, artist, or genre. Additionally, there are audio books, podcasts, educational courses, and other audio content available. So if you do want to stream anything, just make sure that it does support AirPlay. Um, and basically, I say there's, there's no radio built into this here. But if you can get an app um, through likes of the um, App Store that supports um, AirPlay streaming, then basically you're sorted and you're rattled away and you can, you can listen to your music wirelessly. The sound is absolutely immense on this here. I've been pen about with it now for a day or two, um, listening to songs um, of different um, values and whatever else, um, only just on a half volume, and the whole sound fills up um, any room. Um, you can hear and even in different rooms in the house. Um, the bass on it is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I said, said, like I said before, the only thing I wish I'd have done was um, put something on it. You can turn the bass down and, and turn different things down, but other than that there, um, the sound is absolutely perfect. I have absolutely no faults with it at all. I've had no issues with sound loss at all. So I've been playing about with it now for a couple of days and everything um, has worked perfectly, um, especially with the Apple devices, which it was for. The only problem I had was um, playing YouTube um, through Android, but again, it's not specifically designed for that, so that's maybe why that it doesn't work well or not. Absolutely no issues at all. It does have a headphone jack, which is located um, with the device straight on, um, on the left hand side here. It's just the top one there, it's a standard 3.5mm jack. Simply plug any headphones into it um, and you can listen to them um, wherever you want. So that is my review on the Boston Acoustics MC200 Air wireless system speaker for AirPlay. Again, let me just show you the big massive shout out to Basil Knight Electronics Limited and Ball Money in Northern Ireland for um, giving me the opportunity to review this for them. Um, all their Facebook links and their website address is all in the description down below. So if you're looking to purchase one, then I highly recommend going through them and purchasing one. 
Until the next time, thanks for watching.